Hi everyone, my name is Sarah. I go by G Sarah on Instagram and today I'm going to be opening up a bunch of Amazon boxes and kind of showing you guys my new business aesthetic-ish, as much of it as I can. I know that it's been a really, really long time since I've uploaded a video and um, over the last probably two months I have had lesser and lesser time to make YouTube videos and it's been getting harder and harder to do it. And so the videos that I have made over the past month or two months, I've just ended up trashing because I thought that they, they, they weren't good. They weren't really planned or thought through. And I realized that the way that things are right now, I'm working 45 hours a week at my job and my daughter is about to start her first year at school, which is fucking terrifying. And so things are just my schedule is about to be so hectic and I'm going to do my best to try to fit in where I can and when I can making videos. So I just, I have to make the best of the situation and so that's what I'm trying to do. So uh, let's get started on opening these boxes. I know that some of these have birthday presents for my four-year-old. So y'all aren't going to tell her. I can go ahead and show you. I don't think it has all of them. It might have all of them. I don't know. These came in the mail like three days ago and they've just been sitting in the corner of the room and they're taking up a lot of space. So I was like, you know what? I need to open them. Might as well make a video of it. Bags. Bags. Okay. I think this entire box is just bags. Yeah, it is. Okay. My last bags were black, plastic. They're really durable, but they were really like slippery. Whenever I had them like sitting on the table, they would just kind of, the wind would blow and they'd all just... <laughs> So screw that. Plus um, craft paper. That's what these are made out of is craft paper. And I use craft paper whenever I wrap my candles. And so I realized like I kind of want to be using craft paper in more aspects of stuff. So the bags, that just, that seemed like a, a really simple solution to two problems I was having. So this is just a whole box of bags is, is what this is. This has nothing to do with my aesthetic. This is um, some stuff that I'm gonna be selling on my hat rack for like September and, oh, I love this color. Oh my gosh. I don't know if I should open these. Well, yeah, I'm gonna set them out on the hat rack anyway. Okay. <laughs> it's, it's a witch's hat with like a cute little, I have one, where's mine? I have a black one. I've got some gray ones. I got some red ones for Christmas in case I still have them at Christmas. Um, they're super cute, but they're wool. So selling these in the summer is just not, it's not gonna happen. I have to save this for September, October, November, and December. And depending on how well they sell, I may buy more. Now I've got a red one another red one and another gray one so I didn't buy a whole lot because I don't know if these are gonna sell at all I didn't want to spend too much money on stuff that I have no idea if it's even gonna sell or not so I can tell you right now that this one is um this is my daughter's I got her a scooter it's like a, a, a three-wheel scooter super cute but I know that she has a couple things in these other boxes, so I'm actually going to open this so that I can put the rest of it in here and then tape it back up. So I can just have like one box with all of her stuff in it because I'm ridiculous when it comes to organization. People say it's ridiculous. I call it efficient. So, you know, whatever. I didn't go to this past Canton, which was the beginning of August, because it is just too hot. I paid for my spot, but I didn't go because it was too hot and I would have rather just gone to work. And so I did. All right. <gasps> Ooh, yay. Okay. These. These, um, okay, these are 32 ounce bottles. And I guess I need to make another video of me actually doing this, but I'm going to take um, 
all of the fragrance oils that I like mix together to make other candles, I'm going to mix, pre-mix them, measure them out and pre-mix them into these. So I've got some, you know, big already mixed and I don't have to do all, you know, of the different fragrance oil. Every time I make that candle, I can just pour it straight from here. And I'm pretty sure that the lids are going to fit my, my little pour spout lids. All of my tablecloths are black. Ever since I've been going to Canton, I've been in this trade center that has like 70 other vendors. And almost every single one of those vendors has black tablecloths. So my booth just kind of blends in with everybody. And I realized the last time that I went that the girl behind me, because we both have booths that are like back to back, but they face outward because there's two lanes that go down the trade center. She has white tablecloths and I realized that she has a lot of people coming up to her booth like all the time. And it kind of dawned on me like, you stand out a lot. I decided to not get white tablecloths because that wouldn't go with my aesthetic anyways. But um, I got some ivory off-white tablecloths. And I feel like this color is going to go really good with the whole crafts paper that I'm trying to add more of into my brand. And then I also am adding like some olive green and more leafy and like wooden stuff. And I'll show you all, but um, like I, I spray painted all of my egg crates olive green. But I think it's going to look really, really, really good, especially with these tablecloths. I hope. I think. I hope. We'll see. This is very lightweight, so it's probably more of the hats. <laughs> okay. These are uh, butterfly wings and masks and things for Natalie. Um, this is... Um, A necklace stand very 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 lightweight and like I said earlier I'm adding more just natural wood so up against this I feel like these colors just they, they look good together and then I got some vines and this is how long 84 feet this is 84 feet of vines and the way that I have my table set up is kind of like a Z formation where I'm here and this is the front so they have like a whole corner and then and then they check out with where I'm at and I'm just going to wrap this around the entire perimeter yeah I'm going to wrap this around the entire perimeter of all of the tables and I think that the green and and the ivory is really pretty I feel all right I got these they're little like wooden coasters kind of I, I don't really know and I'm gonna put my big glass candles on and and set them up against the front because again natural wood the ivory they look good I think and um I realized at my events that I sell more of my big glass 12 ounce candles than anything so those are really the only things that I need to have on display I feel and this is enough to have all my candles on display, all my different scents and my fall scents and everything. I don't have a clue what this is. Oh, these are the necklaces, I'll bet you. Let's see. I love this color. I'm not gonna change my aesthetic to this, but it's pretty. Oh my gosh. Basically, giant box of, of necklaces to put on that necklace stand. So, yay! Um, let's see what else. This box is now empty, so. Trash. All right. This is the last Amazon box. And then I have one more um, Michael's. We got a black hat. Black hat, black hat, black hat. All right. And then oh, pop it backpack. Yeah. 
and then I believe these are more necklaces just from a different brand so it's kind of packaged differently but yeah all right cool so I can put the rest of the hats in here finally got the box situation taken care of and now I can organize all of that I do have another box here from Michael's but I kind of want to open this at work I'll show you guys what's in here, but um, I have this planner that I got from Michaels like a year and a half ago, and it's it's an 18 month planner, which is cool and everything, but it ends, it, it starts in July and then it ends in December of the next year. And that bothers me because when it ends, you either have six months that you have to wait without having a planner at all, or you have to go buy a planner in which six months has already passed. that bugs me it bugs me so much that that's how they do planners <laughs> and like a lot of companies do that and that just that really really bothers me um but anyways it's the middle of the year so now the next set of planners have come out i i got a new one i'll just open it fuck it because <laughs> i want to see it um just the way that I've been doing my my plannering plannering <laughs> um this is my new one it says slow down deep breath start again I think it'll help me because shit's about to get fucking nuts Oh, look at the back. Oh, I'm glad I picked this one. So, uh, just a heads up. Whenever, I don't know if this is like a constant thing or if this is just how it's always been. I went into Michael's to look for a new planner um, like a week ago. And they were like $40. And I was like, yeah, um, that's, that's, that's not going to happen. So... Uh, later on, then I went online, which they have, you know, everything that they make on there, and they were half off. I don't know if they were on sale or if that was just the price. I don't even remember. I just remember it was like $17, and I'm like, what? So, um, oh my god, look at that. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. All right, so, old planner, new planner. And I like, I, li I like, because this kind of has always been really annoying, so I feel like I'm really going to like this. It's just, it's much less to just, this is like very high maintenance and high anxiety, coiled very tightly. And this is, <gasps> are those hearts? They are hearts. Do you see? It's a heart. <laughs> I'm going to change everything over to my new planner, and um, if y'all would be interested in seeing how I do my planner or like organize stuff because I'm about to go through like a whole huge money finance makeover and just change the way that I do everything to get me and Dustin just completely out of debt and and I've been reading Dave Ramsey obviously so I don't know if y'all would be interested in that kind of stuff but that's pretty much what I'm going to be doing in my free time. So if I can make videos of the stuff that I'm already going to be doing that's productive, that would be super awesome for me. So let me know what y'all would like to see in the future because just everything is going to be changing so much and and and, and I do always want y'all's opinion on, on everything. So anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I do have to start actually getting ready for work now. So I'm going to do that and I love y'all and thank you for watching and as always be excellent to each other and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. Thank you.